Hey, what's going on, guys? Actually, hang on. This this looks a little bit weird. Hang on. That seems a little bit better, doesn't it? Maybe it'll work. So now that we've got the logistics all taken care of, welcome back into your weekend update, your farm sim weekend update, where we go over all the latest updates, news, and, well, mods that are available for farming simulator 22 right now. Guys, it's been uh, it's been an interesting week. We're going to dive into that because there's a little bit of stuff to talk about. Let's do this thing. Pitter patter. Well, folks, welcome back in. And like I said, if you guys are new around here, if it's your first time here, of course, don't forget to go down to the bottom and slap that thumbs up and uh, subscribe as well. You know, you don't want to miss any of our content here. We do this show once a week. And of course, we've also got live streams and, of course, well, tons of other videos coming out. All farm sim related, so make sure you guys go down below, hit that red subscribe button if she's still red, because you're not going to want to miss anything here. Guys, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm starving. Um, you guys get these little packages of cookies anywhere? I'm stealing cookies from my kit, from the Clutchlings. Don't tell them, alright? But they're like tiny, like look at these things. They're like the tiniest little cookies, but they're delicious. Oh, they're so good. So good. Nothing quite like stealing kid snacks at 2 o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> All right, so with my mouth still full, we've got some new mods to talk about today, both for uh, PC and console, of course. We've got some PC exclusive mods still to talk about. And as well, well, we've got some news on the DLC this week. Well, a little tiny bit. I wouldn't, um, guys, don't go too in depth on this one because there's not much there yet, let's be honest. Well, excuse me, I must have missed something. So the biggest mod of the week, at least what I consider the biggest mod of the week by quite a bit, guys, is a brand new map. Well, it's not a new map. It's a new map for 22, Old Stream Farm. Now, to be honest, this map's been out for Farming Simulator. Did come out for 17? Hang on a sec, I gotta, I gotta check this. Holy crap, never mind, it was, it was 15. This has been out on Farm Sim 15, 17, 19, and now, this is the fourth generation of, of Old Stream Farm. The Old Stream Farm. This is done by Black Sheep Modding once again. And guys, this is, this might as well be a base game map. Literally, it's it has everything. Now, this here is a European farm, and I know well, most of my audience is actually American, but that being said, this is a, an amazing European farm. It's based on a 70s style farm located in a fictional European styled countryside area. Fairly small, tight sized map, but tons of detail. And once again, this is what you're gonna get with this map. There is just so much to do and so much detail in here. It's been updated to work with all of the production chains that come in Farming Simulator 22. So you're gonna find all the available production chains built into this map and ready to go. And once again, this is a map that has a farm that you're going to wanna use most likely. You're not gonna to wanna to be building your own farm on this map. This one here, once again, you're gonna be wanting to use the base game farm new farmer mode or farm manager, something along those lines, and use that farm. Now, of course, along with that, you're getting small technical fields with smaller roadways. That's really gonna be uh, testing your driving skills. So if you're brand new to Farming Simulator, this is a great map, once again, to start on. Even if you've played Old Stream in the past, it's been updated to really meet the expectations of Farming Simulator 22. So definitely don't pass up on this one. Give this one a chance, because Black Sheep always tends to knock these out of the park. And um, make sure you go check for those collectibles as well, because those are kind of cool. Guys, I'm already I'm already done my cookies. Aw, oh, man. So other than that, we got quite a few tractors this week. I was kind of surprised. I mean, uh, just on Friday, McCormick Pack came out from Agritron Modding. We've got the John Deere 6155M by Cayman. The John Deere 4755 to 4955 by AAA Modding. I was really hoping we'd get an open station on, on this one. I don't know if they actually had that in real life. I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody in the chat will let me know. Probably not. If it wasn't made, probably not. I digress. We got the class Zerion 3000 series by Smeddy, along with the class Lexian 8000 uh, by SB Farms. That's that large combine there. And then as well, the John Deere 7R series, the 2018 model. This is by Tar Tarzi or Tarxi 007, the Case Optum CVX by DDEC 96, and the Case IH Vestrum series by Red Cat 3D and Lucas 2002. I mean, we pretty much got a tractor for everyone. No Staras, I'm not complaining, mind you. And guys, I might also add that every single one of those mods is for all platforms. So console players, you don't need to worry about any of them. They're all there for you too. Now for some other cool mods that came out in the Mod Hub this week, the Lizard Field Bin by Slu, just modding basically an auger wagon that you can just kind of dump into the field. The John Deere 600 FD and 700 FD pack, which is, well, a header system with an air bar option 
Love this header. The air bar is fantastic. It looks so good. The only thing I wish the air bar would actually improve your yield. Is there a way we could ever do that? That seems like something that should happen. Buyable bales by DD Mod Passion. Once again, all platforms allows you to buy straw, grass, hay, silage bales, square, round, all the different sizes. Fantastic to finally be able to do this. And then the all buyable production pallets pack by Tarsi or Tarxis 007. Guys, this is awesome. We can buy every single type of good now. So you don't necessarily need to make it all. If you just need one more product, like, I don't know, maybe sugar for your, your cakes. Well, you can just buy that. Or you know what? You can just buy the cakes if you just want to hand someone a nice birthday gift. And finally, to top it all off, we have a couple of different placeable packs. Now you guys know how much I like building farms and that side of farming simulator to actually build your own plot of land. Well, we've got some more placeable decoration items that can kind of help well, fulfill all this. We've got the placeable dairy farm package. This one's done by DMI 20 millimeter Normandy. Guys, another nice little pack. Nothing crazy here, but you're just gonna get some placeable dairy dairy objects, dairy farm objects, uh, some calf pens, and some other small little objects. And then we also got the decorative details pack by Triangles Trouble. Once again, just a whole bunch of small decorations for your farm, 45 different objects. They're all taken from the base maps that you can now place wherever you like just to make your farm feel a little bit more fleshed out. And once again, all these mods I'm talking about, guys, they're available for absolutely everybody. Consoles, PC, it doesn't matter. You guys all have this. Okay, so let's move out of the mod hub now. We're going to go over to the mod network and we're going to take a look at some of the PC exclusive mods from well, this third party site. And to be perfectly honest, guys, this week has been completely blown off the charts by pretty much one individual. One single individual. Mr. Boomnastic, aka the Rental Man Buck, has released a schwack load. That's yeah, a technical term. A schwack load of mods for, for Farm Sim 22. And some of them are probably some of the best ever, in my humble opinion. The 1972 Ford F100 series, absolutely amazing truck. You need to have that one in, as your farm truck. For an older farm, definitely get that truck. And then, of course, we have the 2017 Ford F series with all of the 82 Studio attachments this works with all of them and an f-series pickup truck guys it takes what was good about the tlx and slaps it onto a ford pickup really how I've, i i just love it i'm i the rental man buck does it again now of course on top of that you got the 69 dodge charger he's got a 59 chevy impala released a w350 dodge ram which was a collaboration with him and as well expendable modding guys um he kind of he kind of blew up the mod network with mods this week. I, I don't know what else to say. Go over there, download them if you're on PC. They are all amazing mods. You can trust them. These ones are good. Talk to him personally about this, and I think I might have a few of them. Also, UTV ATV pack. Go check that one out as well. Also, this week, Tired Iron Modding released their John Deere 30 and 40 series pack. This is a massive mega pack of older John Deere tractors. You've got the John Deere 30 series, the 40 series, the large frames, the high crops, and as well, they've got a sound add-on to put into it. Kind of a cool pack. Go check them out. Make sure the link's down in the description for that one. And since we're talking about old iron, some older tractors here, JCL's farm equipment released a larger farmall pack, an old, an old school 06 series farmall pack. You've got the 706, 706 high gear, 806 gas, the 1206 turbo diesel, and the 68 front mount cultivator. This is a very cool pack of older farm all equipment. And if you think that this old style of uh, the old style brochure of advertising these mods is not doing it for me, you are dead wrong. I absolutely love this. Guys, I can't get enough of this kind of stuff. This is this is cool. Link her down in the description for this as well. So that's it for the mods that kind of caught my eye this past week. There's still a lot of stuff in testing, guys. The list is still huge. But you know what? One of the bigger announcements this week really was, well, DLC. And it's something we've been talking about recently here on this show, actually. We've been looking at, well, where the heck is the DLC? We've been promised stuff, and man, it's still not here yet. But hey, guess what? This week, we finally got announced, yes, DLC is coming in March. So we've got a little bit of time to wait still, and we've got some more time to speculate. You know, we're going to find out what it is pretty soon, I'm sure, but we still don't even know what it is. Yeah, the only information we currently have, guys, is that it's new equipment for our farm. Now, a couple weeks back, we asked you guys what you'd like to see as far as this new DLC, and 60% of you say you want a new brand. 
Now we've got 31 that said you're going to th see a, maybe a mixed mash of vehicles and only 90 of you think something that's kind of focused in on one type of function. So most of you just want to see some kind of a new brand that comes into Farming Simulator. Now, I have no idea what it's going to be. We'll have to wait and see on this one. Of course, go check out the video on that one to uh, make sure you get your vote in on what you want it to be. So I wish I had more information for you on that. But unfortunately, yeah, like all we know right now is that it's coming in March. Now, of course, this is the first part of the four part year one pass. And if you guys have not already purchased your year one pass for the DLC coming for Farming Simulator 22, you can go down in the description below. There's a link there. You can get the year one pass, which is $39.99. And that will give you your entire year one pack versus uh, DLC for Farming Simulator 22 right now. And once they come out, you can download them right away. Now, where they didn't give us any information on the new DLC really this week, other than the fact it's coming in March. They did give us some new fact sheets on some new equipment. We've got the Ploger AT5104 LNMS. It's a self-propelled liquid manure processor. This is a little bit interesting. Not really a North American piece of equipment, but definitely interesting looking. The Crompe Big Body 750S, which is a, a dual axle trailer, decent size. I'm liking the, uh, the Michelin decals on the side of this and kind of an interesting look to this and then once again in the fact sheet they included the the massey ferguson ideal 8pl the harvester um and the powerful 30 foot as well didn't we learn about this last week it's okay um i guess we're excited about this that's that's okay i guess oh wait last week it was the fent and now it's the mask yeah i get it i i get it giants are we really gonna play this game really and lastly, guys, I've got your question of the week. The Farm Sim question of the week. And this one's a little bit different. You know, we've asked a little bit about DLCs, about bugs, that kind of stuff. This week, we're doing a little bit differently. I've got more of a this or that type of question for you. For this week, let me know down in the description. Vote on the poll. Click on the link. If you had to, only one game for the rest of your life, play Farming Simulator 19 with all the plethora of mods that came out during 19's lifespan, play that game or would you rather play farming simulator 22 where we are today if you could only play one of them which one would it be would you go back to 19 with all the mods or would you play farming simulator 22 with where we are currently right this very moment let me know vote down in the description I'd like to see what you guys thoughts are on that so other than that folks i hope you guys enjoyed the video of course slap the like don't forget to subscribe and you know what if you missed maybe one of the videos this past week where we talked about possibly maybe the TLX. We took it on a little bit of an off-roading run. Check that video out. Or maybe a brand new Seed Hawk that's going into the Mod Hub, hopefully getting tested right now. Check out this massive planter here as well. Check out those videos for sure. It kind of got missed. Anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I will chat with you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.